Criminal Minds and explanation of Tommy Yates's character on in Season 2 of Criminal Minds, Evolution, Tommy Yates, a prolific serial killer, was addressed, serving as a reminder to fans of the show's past. Voight has mirrored Yates' complex case and effects on Rossi, and Season 3 of Criminal Minds, Evolution may continue to delve into the psychological torment that unsubs inflict on Rossi. The utilization of real-life instances to inspire novels is evident in Yates' character, who drew inspiration from Henry Lee Lucas, a real-life serial killer. Season 2 of Criminal Minds, Evolution is also referred to as Season 17 of the show. Viewers are reminded of the show's lengthy history in the most recent episode by Tommy Yates' reference of it. When Rossi paid Void a visit in jail in Criminal Minds, Evolution Season 2, Episode 6, Voight mentioned the previous persona. Yates hasn't been mentioned in years on Criminal Minds, so it may take a close examination of previous seasons to recall his identity. Before being resurrected as Criminal Minds, Evolution two years after the conclusion, Criminal Minds ran for 15 seasons in its original run. The season 2 finale of Criminal Minds, Evolution will be the show's 344th total episode. Tommy Yates may not have been a major player overall, but he had a significant influence, especially on Rossi. Given that Criminal Minds' third season has already been renewed, more former characters may be referenced or brought back. One of the most successful serial killers in the history of Criminal Minds was Tommy Yates. Tommy Yates said he had more than a hundred victims. Throughout the course of its 17 seasons, Criminal Minds has featured a number of noteworthy unsubscribers. Among the most prolific serial killers on the show was Thomas Tommy Yates. The majority of the episodes adhere to the BAU's profiling procedure, hence his introduction had a distinct plot. The crew usually caught the serial killer by the end of the first episodes. But Yates' narrative was primarily recounted in flashbacks in Criminal Minds Season 7, Episode 22, Profiling 101, where Rossi and the BAU team utilized his case to instruct students on profiling. Yates was specifically utilized because of the complexity of his case and the number of victims he had, 104. Because Yates' signature involved repeatedly stabbing his victims' reproductive organs before fatally removing them, he was also known as the Womb Raider. Yates had to have been killing for at least 17 years before the BAU discovered him. Although he was sent on death row, the Yates case continued after his apprehension. He would haunt Rossi for years to come, and when he broke out of prison in Criminal Minds Season 12, Episode 9, Profiling 202, he made a spectacular comeback. Why Rossi was haunted by Tommy Yates on Criminal Minds Tommy Yates tried to penetrate Rossi's mind. In Criminal Minds, Evolution Season 2, Episode 6, Voight mentioned Tommy Yates since he was aware, from Rossi's books, that the serial killer had been haunting Rossi for a long time. In Criminal Minds, Evolution, Voight discovered that Rossi was experiencing hallucinations by profiling the profiler. According to Rossi, things were different with Yates because the matter wasn't entirely resolved. This is because each year, on a day selected by Yates, Rossi paid Yates a visit in prison on his birthday, and during that visit, Yates would divulge the identity and whereabouts of another victim. Rossi was willing to do this even though it was tough in order to provide the families of the victims with justice. Even worse, Yates would sing Rossi a spooky rendition of Happy Birthday at the conclusion of each visit. Yates, who was suffering from terminal cancer, returned to haunt Rossi in Criminal Minds Season 12 after breaking out of jail after a significant break-in. He began his murderous rampage and made Rossi listen over the phone to his victim's last gasps. Luckily, Rossi located Yates and put an end to him before he could murder another person. Sadly, this meant that the identities and locations of Yates' other victims perished along with him, but Rossi was prepared to make this decision in order to save additional lives. 
Rossi told his pupils at the end of A Profiling 202 that they would need to learn to set aside their personal lives from their professional lives, something Rossi still finds difficult to accomplish sometimes. The criminal mind's character Tommy Yates was influenced on a real-life serial killer. The writers of Criminal Minds drew Henry Lee Lucas as an inspiration Tommy Yates is one of several characters on Criminal Minds that have drawn inspiration from real-life serial killers and cases for their stories and personas. Criminal Minds writer-producer Virgil Williams revealed in a 2012 blog post that Yates' persona and the A Profiling 101 episode were mostly inspired by real-life serial killer Henry Lee Lucas. In season one of Criminal Minds, Hotch remarked that he didn't want to name his son Henry, ironically, JJ's son was named Henry, because he would think of Lee Lucas. This was the first time Henry Lee Lucas was addressed. Henry Lee Lucas, like Yates' character, was raised by a relative who subjected him to forced cross-dressing and psychological trauma. Both of them killed people with a sexual component and mostly targeted women, Lucas even indulged in necrophilia. Their post-arrest confessions formed one of their strongest bonds. The distinction was that Lucas claimed to have killed hundreds of people, therefore most of his confessions were false. Despite how unsettling it was, it was good to watch Criminal Minds, Evolution take a trip down memory lane. Tommy Yates is one of the strangest and most fascinating unsubs on the program. Today's next update. The Hotch actor's new Criminal Minds remark illustrates how evolution could be improved by his return the character dynamics and possible love relationships in Criminal Minds, evolution could be improved by Thomas Gibson's return as Aaron Hotchner. In Season 2 of Criminal Minds, Evolution, Emily Prentice may find comfort in Hotch's return as she navigates personal challenges. Although showrunner Erica Messer has stated that she is amenable to the return of original series characters, Gibson's previous actions may make his planned Criminal Minds franchise comeback more difficult. Thomas Gibson's recent remarks regarding the police procedural emphasized that Criminal Minds' evolution could benefit from Aaron Hotchner's comeback. While the show's 15-year run on CBS was an incredible accomplishment, it also meant that the cast changed several times throughout that time. This was made simpler to accept by Mandy Patinkin's exit as Jason Gideon, which established the precedent that certain characters, even if they are popular, would only be in the project for a short period of time. But of all the exits, Gibson's as Hotch was the most contentious. There was no shortage of controversial character exits on Criminal Minds. As part of CBS's cost-cutting measures, A.J. Cook and Paget Brewster's characters, J.J. Giraud and Emily Prentice, were previously written out. When it became apparent that the police procedural worked better with them, they were finally brought back. They continue to be a member of the cast of Criminal Minds, Evolution. That being said, the circumstances surrounding Hotch's exit made it much more scandalous. After several altercations on the set of Criminal Minds Season 12, Gibson was let go. Even with his current situation in real life, Hotch is still a well-liked former BAU member. Spencer Reed's record on Criminal Minds is broken by Emily Prentice after seven years, although Evolution Season 2 does it in an obnoxious way. Thomas Gibson claims that Emily Prentice on Criminal Minds is loved by Aaron Hotchner. Gibson's remarks on Criminal Minds years following his termination from it following his dismissal from the police procedural, Gibson has remained largely silent regarding his former program. There were questions about whether it was time for Hotch to return when Criminal Minds, Evolution was given the go-ahead after being mired in development purgatory for some time. For background, in spite of the actor's sudden termination, showrunner Erica Messer and her team of writers managed to swiftly devise an explanation for the character's decision to leave, stating that he chose to concentrate on raising his son in light of Mr. Scratch's comeback. Given the Hotchner's past, the sale wasn't too tough. Gibson surprised everyone by sharing a video of himself talking about criminal minds on social media. He shared brief excerpts of his greetings on Cameo, 
and based on the volume of remarks he made regarding the police procedural, it's reasonable to assume that he's been asked a lot of questions about it. But one statement in particular from the video caught my attention. He was reaffirming to Hotch that Prentice is his true love. For those who have been hoping for them to get romantically involved, this revelation is fantastic. Even though it's not canon, it does show how Hotch's comeback could improve criminal minds, evolution. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Criminal Minds, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.